is filming of my very first cooking show. <laughs> so, I'm going to show you how to make three dips for a dip party, vegan dips, so you're not bringing hummus to every party that you go to, okay? We're going to be making the guacamole, the bomb diggity black bean dip, and the nacho cheesy sauce. All right, in this first segment, I'm gonna show you how to make the guacamole. In segment number two, I'm gonna show you how to make the cheesy nacho dip and the bomb diggity black bean dip. All right, let's go. All right, now we're gonna make some awesome guacamole. So we're gonna use two avocados. All right, and this is how you take the pit out. Surprised that not everybody knows this, but. Smack it, twist, pull it out, put your fingers behind the blade like this, pop it off. Alright, I'm just going to score the inside. And they were really hard when we got them, but I stored them with apples and they let off. Well, I can't freaking remember what it's called, but they let off something, a gas of some sort. Yeah. And it ripens them. So, there you go. I'll look it up. Get a spoon. I'm going to put this into the bowl. I'm not going to worry about smashing stuff like that. Now I'm going to add a jalapeno. And to figure out how much I'm going to put in, I'm going to taste it. It's the only way you're going to know if it's spicy or not. And honestly, this tastes like maybe a tiny bit spicier than a green pepper, like a green bell pepper. So I'm going to add in two. Oh, I should probably check this out too. Ooh, and that one is a lot spicier. I'm just going to use this one. I'm going to cut down the side and just cut around that center part with the seeds and the white membrane here. Because you don't want this membrane. There you go. Alright, just cut it into strips. And then just take it, cut it across, and you have a nice little dice really easily. If you're afraid of your fingers burning, you can totally wear gloves. Probably should have. We're gonna do the juice of one lime. Hi, Linda. What you got? A bowl. And now I'm gonna add uh, just a big pinch of salt. It's kosher salt. Hi, I'm making guacamole with avocado. Are you going to eat some? <laughs> All right, let's add in our shallots. And you don't have to use shallots. You can use regular sweet onions or red onions or... Whatever you have, really. You want an orange? What's that? It's cutting. I am mean, cutting. It's a shallot. Can you say that? What do you want? Oh, you're going to cut it? Okay. 
cut it. How's that sound? And you can have your orange. Here you go. I just got these because it sounded yummy today, but it's not essential. We usually use just the regular, like the sweet, the Walla Walla sweets or the um, whatever kind. Whatever's on sale, really. <laughs> Set up. Uh, I hope this does not make my eyes run. My makeup will go everywhere. Oh, nope, it's happening. and then run to the bathroom to wipe my eyes. Yes, does that hurt your eyes too, babe? It's the, it's the onions. You better run off and go do something else. So I saw a friend of mine, she got some um, goggles. <laughs> <laughs> some onion goggles. <laughs> and I hope that they work for her because this is torture. All right. Put it into the bowl with your other stuff, and then um, go fix your makeup. Get away from the onions for a minute. Let's go! <laughs> All right, I'm Wait. back, and I'm fixed up. Yay! All right, so we've got the shallots in here, and now we're going to get a couple cloves of garlic. I do like two. All right, you just want it minced kind of fine so you don't get a big chunk of garlic in your mouth. Or somebody else, and then they, they get mad at you for that or whatever. How dare you put garlic in my food! <laughs> Alright, toss that in. And then get some cilantro out. And um, learn this little tip make sure you wash it for sure because people apparently stick their faces in it at the grocery store to smell it. Yeah, so we're gonna wash it. And you're looking for like about a quarter of a cup once it's chopped up. I like a lot of cilantro in the guacamole. If you hate cilantro, you can leave it out. And I would suggest using at least a little bit of Italian parsley or something to give it a fresh green herbal taste. But um, if you don't hate cilantro, put it all in. It's really, really good. Put it in. Now just kind of smash it all together. And you want to leave some some big chunks. I I mean I like it. I don't like pureed um, guacamole. I think it tastes funky. But I want more of a dip. I I mean you know like a salsa almost a creamy salsa <laughs> with no tomatoes. So you might notice I didn't put any tomatoes in. I don't like it. I think it takes away from what we essentially want here. It's good to me. Best part, take a taste. See what it needs. I think I'm going to put a little bit of extra salt in. Not much. And then get another fork. And since you put a lot of lime juice in, you don't have to worry about it turning dark right away. That's going to preserve the color, the bright green color. I never have put the pit into a dip. I just, I just don't understand it. So, if you want to, you can do it. That's fine. 
I'm at your house, I don't care. Even if I was at your house, I wasn't going to tell you. Alright, put that in. And uh, set this aside. Like my fancy dip tray? Get that in. Dump in some chips. Dump in some chips. Actually, we're going to go crazy, but we're going to make another dip first.